Air defense systems, unsung heroes of modern warfare. Silent sentinels, standing between a nation and the threats that crowd the skies. Today, we compare two heavyweights in this domain. Russia's formidable S-350 Vityaz system and China's acclaimed HQ-9, also known as the Red Banner. Both are powerful, but each has its own strengths, weaknesses, and specializations. Let's dive deeper into their technical mastery and see how they measure up. First, some context. The S-350 was designed by Russian defense giant Almaz Ante to replace aging systems like the S-300 PS. It's built for versatility, capable of countering a variety of aerial targets such as aircraft, cruise missiles, and precision-guided munitions. Meanwhile, the HQ-9, developed by China's CPMIEC, serves as the backbone for China's long-range air defense strategy. It's often compared to the American Patriot system and boasts modular flexibility, allowing it to protect sprawling geographies or pinpoint critical infrastructure. Though born from different strategic philosophies, both systems are designed for one purpose, to master the skies. Let's begin by examining the lifeblood of these systems. The missiles. The S-350 employs the 9M96E and 9M96E2 series, which are modern variants offering high speed, enhanced maneuverability, and pinpoint accuracy. The 9M96E2 stands out particularly with a range of 120 kilometers and an impressive ability to hit targets traveling at speeds of up to Mach 15. It's almost as if these missiles dance mid-air, correcting their flight through their thrust vector control capabilities. Added to this arsenal is the 9ME-100 missile, a shorter range option that's perfect for last-ditch defenses against incoming threats. On the other hand, the HQ-9 leans heavily on its own G-series missile variants, such as the HQ-9B. With ranges stretching up to 200 kilometers, these missiles have the range advantage. The HQ-9's missiles also feature a dual-mode guidance system, blending command guidance and active radar homing in the terminal phase, a combination that allows for high precision even against low-radar cross-section threats like stealth aircraft. The Chinese system even employs an extended-range HQ-9BE missile, pushing boundaries to a staggering 300 kilometers. Clearly, in terms of sheer reach, the HQ-9 takes the crown. But is range the only factor? Now let's discuss radar capabilities, the unseen eyes of any air defense system. The S-350 is equipped with the 50N6A multifunction radar system. Using an advanced phased array design, the 50N6A tracks multiple targets simultaneously, scanning a radius of up to 400 kilometers. It has exceptional detection capabilities, even against modern stealth aircraft and low-flying cruise missiles. Its electronically scanned array allows the system to pivot between various threats in real time, a crucial feature in a chaotic battlefield where decisions must be made in fractions of a second. The HQ-9 answers with its HT-233 radar, another heavyweight in this arena. With a similar phased array design, the HT-233 boasts a maximum detection range of 300 kilometers and can track over 100 targets at once. What's particularly notable is how China has integrated C4ISR, command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance into the HQ-9's radar network. So, are these radars evenly matched? The S-350 edges ahead in pure detection range, yet the HQ-9 compensates with seamless network integration that amplifies its battlefield awareness. The difference lies in doctrine. Russia's focus is on localized dominance, while China favors large-scale, grid-linked defense. Let's zero in on missile guidance systems, the delicate balance between science and precision. Guidance decides whether a missile skims past its target or scores a direct hit. The S-350 employs a combination of inertial guidance during its initial phase and active radar homing in its terminal stage. Its 9M96 series missiles even feature proximity fuses, which detonate with surgical precision when near a target. 
Russia's hallmark here is versatility. The missiles adapt well to both high-speed intercepts and slower, more maneuverable threats. The HQ-9's guidance system, by comparison, uses what's called Track Via Missile TVM, guidance before transitioning to active radar homing. TVM is an elegant hybrid. Radar locks onto the target, sends data to the missile in flight, and allows constant adjustments mid-trajectory. As the missile homes in during the final phase, its onboard sensors take over for maximum accuracy. This is where the HQ-9 excels, providing layered redundancy, so even if one tracking method falters, the missile stays on course. So, what's the verdict? Both systems push the boundaries of technology in different ways. The S-350 is a nimble, adaptable defender with high-rate engagement capabilities against a variety of threats. Its advanced radars and thrust-vector-controlled missiles make it a precision weapon for modern warfare. The HQ-9, with its longer missile range, intelligent guidance, and seamless network integration, excels in large, complex battle spaces where coordination is key. Choosing the right system comes down to strategic needs. Want a layered, versatile system capable of neutralizing even Mach 15 threats on the move? The S-350 has you covered. Need a grid-based, long-range network that protects vast territories with pinpoint precision? The HQ-9 delivers in spades. At the end of the day, this isn't just a comparison. It's a testament to the complexity and ingenuity that defines modern air defense. In a world where threats evolve at breakneck speed, systems like the S-350 and HQ-9 are the sentinels that ensure the skies remain secure. In a world where threats evolve at breakneck speed, systems like the S-350 and HQ-9 are the sentinels that ensure the skies remain secure.